Hello everyone and welcome to our weekly Jurassic World Evolution livestream and right at the start I have an important assignment for you so I'm gonna start this poll you can see two designs on your screen right now vote in the poll which design you want to be at like the base of our Lux Park and then I'll load into whatever you guys decide on and we'll get to building. So this is going to be a quick poll. Get your votes in right here at the start. I'm just going to say hello to you lovely folks as you decide what will be the base of our park. And I'll talk about it once we get started. By the way, if you hear something in the background, that's Fleur. Another thing I'll be talking about later. I want to first and foremost thank the Blue and crew for always being here. I see Colt, Sammy, Guillermo's here sarcastically. Um, Glitzbox in the chat. We have a good crew, to, a good crew tonight, people. So be on your best behavior. They're just trying to make the chat a better place in the world. I see a lot of green. Uh, some of our or oh, Jesus Christ, I can't speak. I'm getting so distracted by Fleur. <laughs> we have green army members in the chat as well. I see Terraria, Combat Kiwi, Wraith Giron is here, Savannah Varns, Sino the Dino. I like that name. That's nice. Um, let me just keep up here. Legacy Christie 1993, how's it going? We have Ploba, Tom's 53, Rob Earth, how are you doing? Zacho, Dr. Ocean, welcome. Thank you all so much for being here. Uh, oh, it's a full house. That's what you get when it's a DLC week. And boy, has it been a week. We have so much to talk about during the stream. This is crazy. Uh, I'm going to say hello to more folks. Um, it looks like the poll is pretty decisive. But, you know, I'm going to give you guys a little bit longer. Proximus Cat, Dan Reynolds. <laughs> Sorry, Fleur is being so noisy. She'll tone down later. It's because I'm... I think it's because I'm talking right now after being quiet all day. <laughs> um, Charlie is here. D-Rex in 1985. Um... Jurassic Jacob, we have CGT Toro, Aurora is here, chat jumped, that's great, thank you for your cooperation YouTube, always doing your bestest, um, we have Ashwin Granger, IDK, we have Gamer, Gamer iFan7 or Gamer LFan7, Model Natalia is here, Boas Hasnote, Pokemon Gamer 5, Jelle Vogelaar, <laughs> that's, def that's definitely Dutch, that is so Dutch. Weekly Streams is here, uh, Yeetus Megitus, Adler Nicholas, how are you doing? Harrison Eats is here, Oscar, Froten Gaming, we have Nell, Villamonte, uh, Eli X Shogun Hunter, Tabby Cat, Logan, how's it going? We have Froggy Frog in the chat as well. Crazy Cat Miri is here, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I think the poll is pretty decisive, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to loading in here. They see me loading, they hating. All right, let me boop, get rid of that. I'm going to end this poll here. So yeah, I actually made the sun design first because I was thinking about... <laughs> Sorry, Fleur. Fleur, would you please? Jesus Christ. Because <laughs> I was thinking about a way to sort of symbolize light, you know, because light is obviously going to be a big thing in this park. Speaking of... I should set it to night time. Um, so I made the sun design first. And then later I had like this total duh moment. Like, duh, it should be the moon. You dumb fill in the blank. <laughs> so I made the moon and then I was like, you know what? Let the people speak. The people will know what to do. The people always know what to do. And as always, you guys came through. So, yeah. All right. Night time. There you go. I'm using the uh, monorail because I like it, but also because it has a little light on it. And again, yeah, it's going to be very much focused on incorporating light. And, you know, obviously I took a little bit a little bit of inspiration from Vincent van Gogh. You see it, right? You see it. You see it. You see it. You know, you, you see it. Uh, <laughs> we have Vivian Fixing coming through with the first super chat. Thank you so, so much. That is so generous. Uh, let me find the dialogue here. Let's get him dancing. Let's see if I mess something up. <laughs> Thank you so much, Vivian Fixing. You're amazing. I'm gonna heart that. Oh, yeah. Um, Fleur, would you please? Yeah, we're gonna talk about that. Don't worry about it. Um, happy St. Patty's weekend, Evo. I had no idea. <laughs> and everyone as well. Good to see you all. Hope you're having a good day. Thank you so much, Vivian Fixing. I hope you're having a lovely weekend then with the, uh, with the celebrations going on. And we are almost at 200 likes. So I feel like at this point, I'm just going to wait until we reach 200. And then I'll make Ian Malcolm laugh twice. Is that a good deal? I feel like that's a good deal. I feel like that's that's the thing we should do. Uh, the Beaver Show just became a paleontologist. So I have a beautiful clip to show you. Uh, Gareth Edwards, if you're watching, 
I'm available, I'm free for, you know, the VFX work on the new movie. Look at that. Beautiful. Wow. That's quality cinema, I would say. And just like that, we shot past 200 likes. I know what you guys like. Here we go. <laughs> and again, <laughs> once more, a feeling. <laughs> Lovely. Hey, B-Rex, thank you so much for becoming a paleontologist as well. You as well. You know, if you if you happen to have Gareth Edwards on speed dial, send him this. Oh, <laughs> uh, I always make the same joke and it's never funny, but I keep, I keep doing it. All right, so we're off to the side. I'm going to do my little production area as I always do because I'm too lazy to incorporate it, let's be honest. Should I have done this as my homework? Yes, I should have, but you know, I... Dude, I made like two plaza designs. I did I did some homework, okay? <laughs> um blah, 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 blah. actually I want like the main entry points I'm just gonna put over there. I'm gonna place this second here. I, it doesn't matter realistically, but it, it matters to me. It matters emotionally, you know? So there and we're gonna upgrade all of this. I see chat happening. Hold on, chat, I will be I will be with you. I am always with you. Uh, let's see. Let's make sure. Okay, so that was B-Rex. We have uh, Gecko King. Thank you so, so much. Your first ever super. That is super, super generous. I can give it a heart. Absolutely love that. Evo, can I say a brag I have? Definitely. Unfortunately, there's no guarantee I will see it. You know, if anybody's ever like, hey, I have a question or hey, I want to say something. Just say it in the same message. Just ask it in the same message. Because <laughs> there's no guarantee we're going to see the second one. <laughs> um, hold on, let me make sure. Oh my god, so much is happening. It's so busy right now. Uh, we have Aurora became a paleontologist. <laughs> so many people. Look, I get it. You love this clip. It is a really good clip. I get it. It is amazing. It is the peak, the pinnacle of cinema. Uh, we have X Corruption here. Thank you so, so much. That is super, super generous. Hey, Evo, I know you aren't a fan of the hybrid pack, but I absolutely love the Stegoceratops. Also, I think they are going to make something outstanding later, and this is only a placeholder. I'm not sure if it's a placeholder. I think it's compensation. I hope it's compensation. And that there is going to be, you know, uh, still a decent, chonky update coming our way. I hope that. Uh, there's no guarantee, though. I don't... I want to... Oh, how do I say this? Like, don't get your hopes too high. You know, we all know that Frontier is not in the best of states uh, currently. Um, it, it, there's so much happening. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> so much is going on. Uh, will we ever start building? Who knows? <laughs> Legacy Christy, thank you so much. You grew your first dinosaur in the aisle. That's amazing. You deserve a hug. Is a raptor the first dinosaur you grew or uh... <laughs> rob Earth? thank you so so much love you to the moon and back insane moon plaza thank you so so much i like that yahoo, <laughs> yahoo indeed <laughs> and we have yet another new member love game selfie thank you so so much for becoming a member you're awesome all right am i caught up i feel like i'm caught up so so um, let me do a little head count here. How many species do we have? We have, uh, I'm gonna whip out. That's not what I was gonna whip out. I'm also not gonna whip out anything concerning anything. Okay, stop that joke right now. Okay, so we have two lagoon creatures. I didn't forget about Nothosaurus this time. We have, oh my god! <laughs> we have I Leviathan in the chat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's like a jump scare. <laughs> Thank you so much, I Leviathan. As always, crazy, crazy generous. I'm gonna give it a heart. Uh, and I'm gonna play this clip for you. Thank you so, so much. I never know what to say, and you know that at this point. It is a very long clip. <laughs> okay, genuine question. If we do get a third game from Frontier, Jurassic World Evolution 3, or a crazy thought, Jurassic Park Evolution, I'm leaning towards JPE personally. I'd like the next game to focus on the OG trilogy and getting a whole JP campaign. Mm. 
mm, from your lips to Frontier's ears, <laughs> or Universal, or whoever would be footing that bill. I don't know if it's gonna happen, honestly. Um, I, I'm personally not opposed to a third game. I think it's a little soon, but... You know, the camp- I think we all agree on this. The campaign is definitely something that could be improved on. <laughs> Fleur, would you please? For the love of God, woman. I think she's just confused about all of the talking going on. Um, oh my God. Uh, <laughs> so much is happening. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Gecko uh, King, thank you so much for yet another super chat. Sorry about putting this into a message. Don't worry about it. I was just saying, you know. <laughs> uh, but I have a number 12 license plate prop replica signed by Wayne Knight, a.k.a. Dennis Nedry. That is very cool. That is a good brag. That is... We are... I think we are all sufficiently jealous right now. And we hate you. Like, we're happy for you. But we hate you. <laughs> And we just shot past 300 likes as well. Honestly, you guys, thank you so much. <laughs> right, can I get to work now? <laughs> Fleur, please, can I get to work now? Okay, so we have two Lagoon creatures. Um, we have the Para in two colors. We have Stegoceratop. Well, we have, you know, the four hybrids, obviously. So we have five... Am I saying that correctly? We have five land animals. Is my math mathing? Am I missing someone? I'm trying to think. Is there another luck skin? I don't... Um... I don't think so? The real pet guy says 6-6? Six, six? What's the 6th? Um... Oh, duh, 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 I'm an idiot. We have the, um, it's seven. We have the uh, Indominus and the Indoraptor. Doing. It's seven. Yeah. Wow. Okay, she's awake. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna be a small park. But I think it's gonna be a really nice park. Okay, so what I wanted to do is basically have like a really large exhibit like this there and that's gonna be like mixed herbivore stuff i'm thinking maybe fleur would you please we're gonna talk about fleur in a minute but i want to get like a bit of a start here i think lagoon maybe this shape i'm probably undersizing that Honestly, honestly though, I think I feel like we should do. <laughs> Look at me trying to delete the terrain paint. Jesus Christ! I think we can do something a little bit more interesting with the shape of the lagoon. But I want the I wanted to I wanted to Jesus Christ! I wanted to curve right here, and I do think we're also just gonna do one lagoon and have them like both in the same lagoon, so we get like a nice color combo going. So that's like the very start of it. And, you know, as always, it's just going to expand from there. Um, so I'm going to start on this first so we can get our, our creatures in. And yes, we will be playing at nighttime the whole time. So we can really focus on making the most of, you know, the, the colors and all that good stuff. Otherwise, I'm just going to forget or not the colors, uh, the lights, you know, really work with with light for obvious reasons. So I'm gonna have that closed and probably... I feel like I wanna do a mountain in the backdrop. You know I love doing a mountain. Is that... <laughs> I think I can make it a little bigger. I do have to be mindful of my path there. Alright, sorry. I, I just had to get going. <laughs> You could do a lagoon bridge with Notho and Stixo. Yeah, I probably should whip out the, uh, the the glitches, shouldn't I? I was thinking more... Instead of a bridge, I was thinking about doing the rock cave sort of thing. To sort of, like, really shroud it in darkness. That's, that's kind of where I was leaning towards. Because, you know... To do the bridge, like a functional bridge, we would have to do the monorail trick as well. That's going to be quite time-consuming. 
Hey, Jurassic River Cruise, thank you so much for that super chat, mate. Hi, Eva, how you been? Missed you. Sorry, have, haven't been around in a while. Been busy. I hope to be around a lot more. <laughs> Love you. Thank you so much for joining in. And no problem at all. We all get busy. I hope that it's been, you know, a positive kind of busy and not, a, not anything negative or something. Let me heart your comments and get you, uh, get you a hug. <laughs> Little welcome back hug. Thanks so much for popping in. All right, well, we, won't, we won't go too extreme, but we can go a little bit taller with it. Thank you, Mr. Fubsy. I bet you're better at this game than you give yourself credit for, though. We're always our own harshest critic. That's, that's just the way I think we're all hardwired. There, and then make this one a little bit taller, and that'll be that, I think. It's gonna be weird building a park at night. I don't usually do that. Do you guys do that? I like I don't I don't even turn on the day night cycle. I just like always full on blasting that sun in everyone's face. <laughs> um, I think that's a pretty decent start. Uh, let me line it so we can actually get our first animals in. You know, get a little bit of a little bit of speed. You know, not, to the agents listening, not the problematic kind of speed. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hey, Joseph Pledger, that's no problem at all. I appreciate everyone just watching. I think that's amazing. We have so many people in chat right now. I think that's really, really lovely. By the way, we did a poll before we even started about, like, um, how many people got the DLC or at least are intending to get it. So, yeah, I hope that everyone who got it is really, really, really enjoying it. Obviously, I'm really enjoying the, um, <laughs> the Spinoraptor. No surprises there. Uh, I mean, I could I could always just relocate it a little bit, but I like the idea of having like a little extension here. Honestly, I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little taller with it. Hold on. Yeah, that might be that might be here. Let's do that. And this is gonna have like a little a little guest path. I think that's gonna be nice. Um, looking at it, we might make the, since I'm going taller with it, I think I should make the distance a little bit greater, but. Here, maybe more like that. I think I should get rid of my sketch because it's starting to confuse my teeny, 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 tiny brain. We're aware. We're familiar with Evo's teeny, 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 tiny brain. There. Let's just redraw that in. Whee! Is, is that big enough? Is it big enough? I mean, I guess we can always just put in fewer species than I initially intended. It feels a little smallish, honestly. What do you guys think? Anyone else find it weird? The Spinoraptor panics from the Indominus, even though the info says they like him. Oh, I, ne I, ne I never even paid attention to what they do or don't like, because it doesn't really affect how I play the game. I'm going to move this second mountain a little bit. I'm not going to move the big one. I'm going to move this little one and create like a, an interesting sort of hidden... Yeah, I like that. Sort of hidden space, but functionally make the habitat bigger. See, like that. So do compies with Rexes. That's, oh my god, that annoys me so much. <laughs> it annoys me so much that they, they just starve. <laughs> I hate it. Brodydunk says, I do mix habitats smaller than this, so I don't care. I mean, normally I wouldn't care either, but you know, we only have so many species to work with this time around. So we can, we can, we can give them we can be nice for once we can give them some space i think i i'm almost afraid to look behind me but i think fleur has calmed down she's calmed down yeah okay that's good <laughs> oh yeah so who's fleur what's happening uh you guys probably know i have a bunny his name is Bo, and uh i've been you know uh i got him a girlfriend last year but they've never actually met because Bo has been uh sick for a very long time thankfully he's not sick right now 
So uh, Fleur has recently been spayed and we're now in the process of introducing them to each other. And the first phase of that is just that she's in her cage in the room with us. So uh, they can't actually access each other. There's still like fencing between them, but they can, they can see each other. They can sniff each other and sort of get like used to each other. Uh, but yeah, Fleur does not like being in her cage for obvious reasons. <laughs> so we're probably going to be hearing her in the background from time to time. In the meantime, I've missed so much stuff. Um, Gecko King Evo, do you have the chaotic brain that you don't see much these days? And I think I speak for everyone when I say I'm all for it. I am so chaotic. Um, I'm not diagnosed with ADHD, but sometimes it does, it does seem like it, doesn't it? <laughs> I, uh, I just jump from one thing to another. I'm sorry, it's 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 messy. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> hey, but thanks so much, Gecko. I'm gonna get you a hug. Uh, future paleontologist, 13 months is crazy knowing I've spent most of this year waiting for you to post more prehistoric kingdom videos. Still loved every video. <laughs> I'm excited for the future. I am so sorry. I am, I am working on something in prehistoric kingdom and you know, it was full steam ahead. And then all of a sudden Frontier was like, oh, by the way, um, here's early access to our DLC. You have three days. <laughs> you have three days. It starts now. It was a very unusual process. Um, pretty much everything they could have done differently, they did. <laughs> so yeah, that sort of derailed that. But there, it, there is something coming for Prehistoric Kingdom finally. I hit the DPI button on my mouse again. I always do that. There you go. Um, I quite like that. I quite like that. Okay, this is nice and sizable. So yeah, I was I was committed to building in Prehistoric Kingdom. It's just, you know, it takes a lot longer for obvious reasons. And yeah, the, the DLC just sort of snuck in there and took away my focus. And right now, you know, there there's a couple of projects I want to get out first. Uh, so the Mini Magical Island Tour and the Hybrid Research Facility. And then it should be finally prehistoric kingdom time. I didn't. I did not forget. <laughs> All right. Let me just line this so we can actually um, start putting in our species. I've said that a million times already, haven't I? Da -da -da. Here, see, and I left. I left this flat. We can put another viewing option here. I think that's going to be quite nice. Hey, we are past 400 likes. That is crazy. Thank you guys so, so much. By the way, if anybody's watching and you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. <laughs> Sorry. We got it. We got to do that from time to time. <laughs> just, a little, just a little reminder. No, but seriously, it, it, it helps us out uh, and we just appreciate it. Um, I'm going to go up there. I think if I chuck some rocks in there, that'll be a complete enclosure. Uh, yeah, let's chuck in a rock and then I think we're good. That's not where rocks are. Jesus, will I ever learn? Uh, let's see. The Sarcastic Paleontologist. Hi, Evo. For this park, you should use the Redwoods since they are a brush on this map. Are they a brush on this map? Really? Oh. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I need to play you guys the laugh. The laugh. <laughs> <laughs> this this is what I mean. I'm chaotic as heck. Did that work? Yeah, it worked. Okay. It looked a little glitchy on my end, but... Alright. Here, owls. <laughs> uh... Oh, God. Oh, hold on, hold on. I can put the fluffy bush in there. That'll do the trick. That'll do the trick. Hold on. There you go. I saw you. I saw you. Don't be shy. There you go. And then over here as well. We can get our first species in. The hitbox on that path is huge. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, Micah Michael Zela. It's because um, I use the small path and it's a, it's a type of path that you can expand. So that's why the hitbox is, is as big as it is. Um... Because I used this one, and obviously you can expand that to that. So you're actually dealing with the hitbox of this path, even though you use that one. It's very annoying. I'm not the biggest... Like, from a gameplay perspective, I get it. I get it. <laughs> As a sandbox builder, I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Alright, let's get our first species in. 
And what I was thinking, if it if it can bear your approval, I was thinking about mixing uh, Paris Rolophus and Stegoceratops. Because I think that's going to be like a cute color combo. Obviously both Lux skins. Riley King says, Eva, will you do a dinosaur sanctuary park but use the invisible fences to separate the carnivores and herbivores? Um... Haven't I done something kind of similar to that not too long ago? I don't remember. It's not my favorite thing to build, to be honest, because I like building guest sections. I'm not the biggest fan of just only building natural environments, because there's only so many rocks I can place. I have a much higher tolerance for planters. <laughs> just, just being honest. That's like the sweet spot for me. Just a whole bunch of planters. All right, so both Lux skins. And, um, yeah, I think it's going to be nice because the Sino, the Sino, sorry, the Spinoceratops, excuse me, is pink as well. Uh, but the Stegoceratops is going to be green. Oh, oh god, no. Bow is <laughs> antagonizing Fleur. <laughs> I'm so sorry. For tomorrow's stream, I'll put her back in her own room. So it'll be, it'll be a little quieter in the background. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think I think it's gonna be nice to have green and pink together. Does anyone have a preference for a for like a base color? Lexi Muffin 10, this is your first time in a stream. Hey, welcome! I hope you're having a good time joining in. Welcome to the chaos. It's not usually this busy. Uh, by the way, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Um, it's not usually this busy. It is always this chaotic, because that's not me. <laughs> So, uh, Aurora says mangrove forest. All right, so what, there you go. So that's that's going to be the color that we add with that. Let me have a little look at the habitat again. I mean, I, I've, I've expanded it generously. I think we can make quite, quite a few. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the full batches of the paras. Uh, yeah. You know what? Let's do... Let's do that. And definitely... We might even make... Hold on. We're gonna make two batches of Stegoceratops, actually. <laughs> now both bunnies are being noisy. What have, what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> T-Rex says we like chaos. That's, that's a good thing, then. Because that's the only thing I have to offer. Ian Malcolm would be proud. <laughs> Uh, Elsie plays. What is my favorite dinosaur slash prehistoric animal? Mine is cats. Uh, my favorite dinosaur IRL is Stegosaurus. I've always loved it since I was a wee little gal. All right, seven. I, yeah, I'm feeling seven. Seven is good. Seven is good. So that, and um, let's play around with the lagoon shape that we're gonna do. Whoa, hold on. I totally got the size of that, right? Look at that, it just slots right in there. I'm low-key kind of proud of that. I mean, it's off-center from what I wanted, but <laughs> the size is good. <laughs> uh, but I actually wanted more, like, in line with that. And then let's keep in mind what these suggested things are. Let's just play around. We'll just see what happens. Okay, so we're gonna do the... The rock cave thing. Hold on, I'm missing stuff. I Leviathan doing another super huge super chat. Thank you so much, I Leviathan. Hold on, I'm gonna first get the Moza going for you. It's a long clip, but I still love it, man. Third game wishes. Multiple social animations per species. Preach. Uh, group resting animations. Non-lethal guessing. Oh, that. Oh. Oh, that's a nice one. I don't think I've ever seen anybody suggest that. That's fun. Uh, building interactions. Not sure what that means. Uh, oh, I think you mean that uh, animals can destroy the buildings. Uh, multiple kill animations per carnivore. Breeding. 
I mean, yeah. <laughs> Proper medium carnivore category, more attractions. I think across the board, yes, 100% would agree with that. Uh, and there's a monthly member message from the Kami Kami. 13 months, that's incredible. Hi Evo, back from being banned on a no rules POT server. <laughs> What did you do? <laughs> All for a pesky video. I also just sinned and put P Path of Titans on mobile. That is a sin. That is a sin. No. <laughs> I mean, everybody has to play the way, you know, the way they can. Okay, I'm just going to do something that I initially thought I wanted to do, but no, that's going to be way too big. I wanted to have, like, usable space in between, but that's going to be way too big. Now, something I can do... It's more like that. I don't think I like that though. Oh, let me think about this. Let me think about this. I mean, I could make it round. I could make it round. Um. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of it. Now there's something... Hmm. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. It's difficult. I don't think I'm a fan of this sh I think we're just gonna go quite simple with the shape. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Something I could do. One second, folks. I'll be with you momentarily. Alright, I'm not really looking at the lagoon that I'm placing. I'm looking at what we'll be placing after. So, how about... Here, and then sort of this this sort of continues. I feel like that might be kind of interesting. I think that's what I'm going to do. It's a very strange shape, but we can make both of these the natural edges. This as well. I think that's what it's going to be. I think that's what we're going to do. All right, let me catch up here make sure I'm not missing anything. That's Kami Kampi. So the next one is the Hazel Note. Hey, thank you so, so much. Uh, are you Dutch? Yes, I am. And I never would have been so far in Jurassic World Evolution if you wouldn't have been here. Love your content, by the way. Thank you so, so much. I'm happy to provide some ideas. I'm just obsessed with this game, so I'm happy to be able to share that with you folks. And, uh, yeah. She's absolutely crazy. I've, I've, she's a crazy, crazy rabbit. There's no two ways about it. Hey, Lazy, how's it going? <laughs> Uh, AP Rex, thank you so much. That's an amazing super chat. Hi, Evo. I'm a new fan. Just want to say love your videos. Thank you. You and the Game Beaver actually inspired me to start my own channel to share my builds. I have no videos currently, but I'm working on it. That is awesome. Thank you so, so much for, you know, coming to hang out with us. And I hope you're going to have a good time with your channel and sharing your ideas. That's really awesome. All right. So. Let's just do the Lagoon glitch first to get it get it out of the way um actually no let's start flying out the species first because that's gonna take a while release me more parasaurolophus more i tell you there you go i'm actually gonna close this off so they don't get in our way as we um as we glitch the frick out of this game. Replace this on. There. Stay out of my business, okay? Yeah. There you go. Isla Python, yet another super generous super chat. Thank you so much, mate. <laughs> Uh, I want the animals to be able to interact with the viewing buildings and tour vehicles. Uh, oh, like, um, you know, when, for example, when they stand in front of a viewing gallery, like, actually acknowledge that there's people in there, something like that, I'm guessing. Uh, as well as carnivores having animations where they crush vehicles at uh, rangers and vet stations when they escape. That would be cool. 
You know, obviously I do hope that if there is going to be a Jurassic World Evolution 3, and that's, that's a very big if at the moment, they really do need to bring it in order to, um, to make that worthwhile, obviously. Whereas, oh, games, hi, Ifo, just want to thank you for inspiring me. Thank you for inspiring me to create a channel as well. It's just so wonderful to see my favorite YouTuber. That's awesome. Hey, happy to uh, be inspiring some more folks to share their own, uh, share their own stuff online. That's cool. Christian, a member for 13 months. That's awesome. Thank you. Okay, so the glitch. Um, I hope I remember this. I think I do. Maybe. I think I do. <laughs> it looks like a smiley face! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, this is the mouth? Like, a really big, big, big mouth? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And these are, these are like the eyes? <laughs> Squinty eyes? Yeah? <laughs> I see it, okay? I see it, and that's really all that matters. So, you know, deal with it. Okay. Let's use the big, br the big girl brush here. Okay, so we're gonna raise this up and mess with literally everything I just did. Cool. It's a cursed face. No, I think it's cute. It's not cursed. It's maybe a little cursed. <laughs> Send in the clowns. Alright, I think that's high enough. Let me just place a couple of test rocks. And let's see if I can still get the lagoons back in. I think I used the second one. Yep, yep. Alright, so we're just gonna be checking this full of rocks on. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just, just so I don't kill anything. There you go. I know myself. I love it then. Hey, thanks so much yet again. <laughs> you remember what Rexy did to Lex and Tim's vehicle? That's I want animations like that. That would be really. That would also just be like a nice, you know, nice little not Easter egg kind of thing. All right, so this is gonna be a little boring, but you know, sometimes. Honestly, I feel like this gets glossed over, but sometimes park builds can get a little bit boring. That's just the way it is, and that's that's okay. I don't want to get too close to the edge because I want to leave the uh, the concrete, you know, nice and smooth. So I hope I'm still like drawing within the line. I think I am. You know, building at nighttime doesn't come without its challenges. Hey, Engine 2 d yo, Eva animated Nedry's death, check it out. I actually did see it, it got recommended to me, so YouTube is doing doing the good work over there. Hey, thanks for popping in. Yahoo. That being said, though, that's... <laughs> that's self-promotion. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> the moderators are coming. <laughs> uh, oh, there you go. Alright, I, I am leaving some spaces because I want to I want to chuck some bushes in there because I think that that helps just fill in the blanks. You know me, I love a good bush. I don't like a bad bush. Bad bushes are just the worst. There you go. Fleur is definitely not yet relaxed. I'm sorry about that. I I did not anticipate that she would be quite this problematic she's she's just not used to this <laughs> by the way Bo is completely ignoring her he's already so done with her <laughs> he, he's already so done <laughs> and they've only been in the same room for a couple of hours oh no <laughs> it's not too bad it's not too annoying in the background I, I hear it quite well but maybe the microphone isn't isn't picking up on it too badly Savannah Farn says, I will be done too. <laughs> I 
Six Pino, uh, are you guys excited about the new movies? I personally am. Like, obviously I have some concerns, uh, but overall I'm very excited. And this gives me the perfect opportunity to remind everyone or inform everyone that tomorrow's stream is gonna be our Jurassic Talk stream. And it's basically just gonna be discussing, you know, uh, all of the confirmed information that we know about the upcoming movie, some rumors, we're gonna be discussing the polls I've been running on the channel, um, and we're just gonna be, you know, getting into what we what we hope and wish for, for the movie as well. So yeah, if you're interested in that and you want to join the discussion, join the live stream tomorrow. I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be fun. It's also gonna be very different because for once, you know, I won't be playing a game. So it's gonna be, my eyes are gonna be on chats at all times. <laughs> Obviously, you know, as I place a million rocks, uh, I can't look at chat at the same time. But you know, we're it's 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 gonna be a just chatting type of stream, which I know is not everyone's thing. Totally get that. Um, but yeah, if it is your thing, come come join us tomorrow. As I try to squeeze more rocks in here, because that, that's just what I do. That's just what I do. There you go, I saw you. I also saw Tarasasaurus in the chat. Can't hang date in London, but here's a question for the chat. Should Evo do a podcast? <laughs> Love to the E family. Hey, thanks so much, Tarasasaurus. <laughs> no, it's, uh, d no, Evo, Evo will not be doing a podcast. <laughs> I did make a really fun like background thing you'll see it tomorrow like you already saw a little bit of it in today's uh community post with the announcements um but it's like a full-on video it's it's nice it's just lovely it's sort of you know inspired by the uh, the clips that i used in my hybrid dlc discussion unfortunately those were ai uh, i did not know that um so yeah, I basically made my own alternative in Photoshop and Premiere Pro. I'm low-key kind of proud, and you'll be seeing that tomorrow. Hi, Leviathan. Thanks so much again for always being so generous. Other specific movie references would be appreciated, like the bracky feeding animation or the packy headbutting someone through the ranger vehicle. That would be cool. One thing, uh, I recently rewatched that. <laughs> I'm just gonna, like, it doesn't look quite right. I'm pretty sure that person's legs would have been completely broken. I don't think they did the animation quite right. There you go, I can still place it. Cool beans, let's bring in the bushes. Where's the bow cam? Uh, unfortunately, Owen Bow is not within camera range. He's not in his bed, he's sitting on his... Like, he's sitting on the roof of his little house. He's just observing his kingdom. As it gets invaded by a crazy bunny lady. <laughs> if you ever do have kids at some point in your life, then you should name one bucket of puffer fish. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that is the most random comment of the evening for sure. At least for now. <laughs> It's a little hard to see with the uh, contour lines in the dark, honestly. But we're making do. We're making do. Oh, I can't fit it in there. Oh, did I see something? Yes, I did. Come on, don't be shy. Don't be shy. I saw you. <laughs> I know you're in there somewhere. Come on. There you go. <laughs> Evo's next channel is the crazy bunny lady. I actually already have a second channel, technically. Um, I just haven't done anything with it yet, but I did already create it, technically. Because I had an idea for a name, and I was like, oh, I should, I should just make that. It's a secret. Toys with Krishan. What's your favorite Lux skin? I think my favorite Lux skin is the uh, Spinoceratops, to be honest. I think it has the most going on. It's like multiple... Well, not multiple colors, but it's pink and white. It has a nice pattern. I really like it. 
All right, I think I think that's like fairly decent. Let's bring in a couple more of the small rocks at like the edge here. I don't think that's gonna have any interference. Are you making the lagoons for the Styxosaurus? It's for Styxosaurus and Nothosaurus. I'm not forgetting this time. <laughs> Who do you think has the worst luck skin? Now we're getting interesting, Joseph. Who do I think has the worst luck skin? Let me think about this for a second. Let me try to picture them. Um. I think Nothosaurus, probably. I think Nothosaurus is the least interesting luck skin to me. Alright, that's the wrong one. That's not a lagoon at all, so congratulations. All right, we can still place it. That's nice. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna do that. Oh, one rock is in the way, hold on. Which one is it? This one. Hello, there you go. There you go. Lovely. I could have done a better job at blending that, but it's okay. I guess we're not gonna be seeing it from I did not do a good job with keeping the <laughs> concrete clean. <laughs> oh well. I could still delete them, but actually looking at it... I don't hate it. I think it looks kind of nice. Alright, so we're gonna flatten this back down. I don't think I'm gonna bother with this one. Alright, so now what I wanted to do was put these right under it. Should I go? Eh, let's do it from there. And then over there, so you're just sort of like... Oh god, Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. I did not... Ugh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of nice. On the edge of the rock cave. I quite like that. You know, obviously it would be better if we could continue that, but... It is what it is. So those two access points are gonna go in this, like, thing. And, of course, we need the rock platforms for our... Not the source. Hey, CC Play 662 thank you so much for that super chat. That's super generous. Uh, I'm gonna get the dialogue going for you. <laughs> you guys better be dancing along when we do this, okay? Right? You got you dance, right? You dance, right? <laughs> the hybrid pack kind of has me wanting more sauropods. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, I honestly feel like... You know, obviously I, w I would want every single dinosaur in the game to have a luck skin. That's maybe a bit much. But at least one of each grouping. So, you know, a, a sauropod with a luck skin. Uh, a flying reptile with a luck skin. That would be really nice. Speaking of luck skins, hello. Okay, this ha I made this habitat quite sizable. So, Peter, get off my back. <laughs> Let's get the uh, Stegosaurus out. And the next match. Uh, by the way, we're going to be naming all of the dinosaurs at the end of this stream. That's always just something we do to sort of streamline the chat and uh, prevent it from getting too... Hold on. This is not a complete enclosure. <laughs> uh, and prevent it from getting too, uh, too messy. So, yeah. If you are here to name some dinosaurs, you're going to be here a while. <laughs> Place. No, no, no. There, that's not a perfect circle, but whatever. Life's imperfect. Curve it around there. Then you go up, and then we switch it back to concrete. Honestly, I could close it off like that, but we might have this lead towards, I don't know, buildings or, or something. 
Invisible fencing. Boop. There you go, I think. Yep. Yeah, we could, I don't know, have like a shop here or something. Oh, sorry, I paused the chat for myself. We need a Lux pack. I mean, technically, we, we just got a Lux pack, but they're, you know, they're, they're attached to the, um, no, I was in the right thing. God dang it. <laughs> they're attached to the hybrids. Let me think about this. Because there's something... There's... What did I want to do? Because there's kind of a cool thing you can do with the... Monorail. Where's the monorail? Oh, right. It's over here. It's gonna be pretty much impossible to line them up properly. Yeah, I don't know if I can make that work. Right, I'm gonna try. Because what you can do, if you like get the pillars underwater and shine a light on them, you know, the superior lagoon light that I'm legitimately mad about that we don't have it on land you can create a really cool effect i think and we can sort of close it in even more i always lose the monorail i don't know what it is hold on why are you not doing what i want you to do normally you snap Snap, I tell you! There you go, now he snaps. Yeah, see, so if we do that, this is very boring, but... Again, sometimes... Park building just is boring. But it's how you get the best parks. At least in my opinion. How did I mess that up? That badly. There you go. Here, see, so what I'm doing right now is we're basically just creating like a... a concrete pillar wall with this. I probably won't be as perfect as I should be with it. Because <laughs> I'm trying to make a little bit of haste. But so far it's going decently. We won't do it on both sides. We'll do it on just one side, so don't worry. And you know, we're already halfway, so it's gonna be fine. Are you playing with any mods? Asks Tony Bush. No, I'm playing the game completely unmodded at the moment. Um, I'm using some glitches. You should check out my uh, glitch guide. It's uh, a couple weeks old at this point, but uh, you should find it on the channel as something like uh, build build parks that look modded but they aren't um so that's how i added these rocks on top of this but it's just completely vanilla gameplay we are cheating the system hey we have t gaming no in the chat welcome it's been a while thank you so much that's super super generous hold on Oh, hold on. How? Sometimes it's just... Okay, don't delete stuff that you don't want to delete. Thanks so much, T Gaming. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I can't heart the stickers. That's so silly. YouTube is being silly. Oh, it's so silly. Just a couple more, folks. Just a couple more. And then we'll call it a day. Oh, that's too close. Here, see, sometimes I'm just completely misjudging how to place them. I think one more, and then we're just about centered. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. 
All right, so do I actually... I don't hate it, to be honest. I don't hate it, to be honest. Maybe that's weird, but yeah, I don't hate it. All right, I'm gonna save this. <laughs> save! We are in Lux Moon. There you go. Yeah. Hey, Wishmaker25, thank you so much for the super chat. That's super generous. Lux patterns you want in the future and DLC. Hold on, I'm gonna get you a Yahoo first. Yahoo! Uh, we actually talked about it like a couple of minutes ago. I would want like a Lux pattern for at least one species of each grouping in the game. So, you know, a Lux sauropod, you know, like make it, make the Alamosaurus have a Lux skin. Add a Lux skin to at least one Ankylosaurid. Add a Lux skin to at least one Stegosaurid. And give us some variety like that without having to do the entire roster, which is probably asking a bit too much. I missed two oranges and a yellow super chat. Oh my god, I love it, and I'm sorry. Oh, it's from T Gaming. No, I think. Yeah, there you go. Uh, hold on, let me let me scroll up to the start here. Uh... Okay, CC Place is the last one I saw. There you go. So I love Ethan. <laughs> Jesus, I'm sorry. Uh, hot take. Hot take time. If we get the third game, I'd actually prefer fewer species if it means the ones we do get are way more fleshed out. And the game itself is heavily improved. Obviously, all movie and book species are guaranteed. Is that a hot take? I don't know. I personally agree. I think most people would agree that we can have a couple less species if it means, you know, more customization options, uh, better animations, or more animations. The animations we have are pretty good. Um, you know, attraction, stuff like that. I think at this point we would all gladly trade a couple of species to, to achieve that. I'm gonna get the Dial of Dancing view. Thanks so much. And uh, also thank you for uh, <laughs> pointing that to me. <laughs> CC places, we danced. I swear we danced. <laughs> and T Gaming No said earlier, thank you so much, T Gaming No. You should make a park with only hybrids and call it the Isle HY. If you think that's good. I don't know what HY would stand for. Uh, unless it's like just short for hybrid. Uh, I am actually working on an all hybrid park. I announced that in my showcase video. Uh, it's probably going to be coming at the end of next week. All right, let me catch up here. Rob Earth missed another super chat. Thank you. I'm sorry. Yahoo. Alex J. Lofters would be my dream. Hello, fire. Oh, that would be so cute. And I miss yet another one from T Gaming. No, oh my god. I got lost in the sauce with that monorail BS, man. <laughs> Because I feel like it would be a good idea. It is a good idea to build a full uh, hybrid park. And that's exactly why I'm doing it. Um, Alright, and then we have Wishmaker Isle of Ithan. Okay, nothing has happened in the meantime. Good, 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 good. Alright. Uh, I see some, I see one of my moderators pointing out that I'm using glitches. Yes, I'm using glitches. This is not modded. Uh, and I've done a full video on how to do all of this stuff. Okay, so... There, what I meant was, oh, I hate how this works, but if we then grab the superior light, and we'll use this one, seeing you can create sort of like, y you have a surface to shine the light on, which creates a really nice effect, you know, kind of deluxe effect. Oh. In our rock cave. And again, you know, we're only doing this on one side. So the other side will just look out into the open ocean. I think that's pretty cool. And then we can change the color of some of them. To make it... Ah, it's a little dark, isn't it? That's the thing, though. Green is just, like, the best color. I guess blue is kind of nice as well. Green really ju just like gives the best light, doesn't it? Ugh, the camera always gets weird around that building. I don't like that. And we can make one of them. There, it's it's kind of subtle, but here. So we're in our rock cave, and then if we switch around, 
Wait, switch camera. Oh, Q. I was hitting C. C? <laughs> I was hitting C. C? <laughs> but that's kind of nice, right? I feel like that's kind of nice. What we can also do... Oh, maybe we'll do that on this side, is lower the terrain. HY is pronounced like the word high for high. Oh, okay, the all high. <laughs> Where's the dial? Ugh. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for so many super chats, T Gaming. Oh, it's amazing. Thank you. We have Riot Rippy. Thank you so much. Hybrid pack with the parent species is taking up way too much space in my park. Your builds are like space savers. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna get you a hug. Oh, Fleurus is choosing violence again. <laughs> CC Play 662, thank you so so much. The dialogue is gonna dance for you, and you better dance with it. <laughs> I'm in your walls. I know. I check. I'm watching. Idea for a Lex pack. Maybe Frontier do the same thing as Path of Titans, releasing multiple skin packs with four to five skins per pack. That would let people get skins for the dinos they want. Maybe a discounted bundle to get all of them at once. I would be on board with it. I don't think... I don't know. Actually, chat should let me know how many people would be on board with buying skin packs. Because I think... I think skin pack... I don't know. Maybe it would be successful. I, I'm kind of personally assuming that it would be more successful just if it's... Um, you know, like Bumpy and Big Edie. You know, if the skins are actual characters. I think that's more popular than just pretty skin packs. That might be a misjudgment on my part, though. I'm trying to think, because obviously we need to have, like, a regular view in gallery as well. I think that should go here, then. That's not where view... What are you even doing with your life? Like, seriously. Alright, so, if I get rid of this T... If this... Of this one teeny tiny rock right there. <laughs> this is scary. I just wanna... I just... I just want to get rid of that one rock game. For frick's sake. Don't know why this tool is... Oh, there you go. So aggressively imprecise. Yeah, that's quite cool. And I think what we can do is lower these rocks to make it look a little bit better. Yeah. And this is going to bring it closer to the underwater thing as well, which is going to look cool. Yes, approved. Approved. I've been going for an hour. How is this, like, legitimately even possible? That's scary. Hey, thanks so much, the Ginch. <laughs> If you're in my wall, you should be able to see me using a plunger as a baseball bat. <laughs> Maybe if they were cheaper, like the Raptor Squad pack. Yeah, if, if they would do skin packs, they should definitely be cheaper. Okay. I am... Uh, I don't know. Mm. I am tempted to put these Spinoceratops in here as well. What do you guys think? Because it's... I feel like it's definitely big enough. And I don't want to just chuck in more of the same speed. Oh, they're just doing a little roll. Oh. I mean, we could give the Spinoceratops its own enclosure, obviously. That's a possibility. I'm not sure if that's really needed, though. Alright, so I'm just gonna draw in some stuff. So, here would be like a little plaza with viewing opportunity. We might make it a remote thing. So, you know, either with a hyperloop or a monorail. I'm thinking maybe a hyperloop. Um. <gasps> yeah, oh, we also have Ankyloticus! Doing. I seriously forgot about Ankyloticus. I legitimately completely forgot about Ankyloticus. I think that says a lot. That says a lot. I'm not even going to elaborate. I think that says 
enough in and of itself. I completely forgot that Ankylodocus was even a thing. It's been in the game for less than a week. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do the Lux skin. And if anyone has, like, strong feelings about the base color, let me know. I was like, oh, we should get a sauropod with a Lux skin. Baby, we have a sauropod with a Lux skin. Darling, please, just wake up, Evo, wake up. <laughs> Alright, let's see. The six Bionosis Amazon Rainforest. Let's see. There you go. Alright, so that's gonna be... How many? Two. We're gonna do two batches then. Shazam! <laughs> that's funny. I, I legitimately forgot. That's interesting. That is special. Alright, as those are cooking, let's add... Um, or at least get started on adding our marine species. Yeah. Ugly, ugly, ugly. We're gonna delete that, of course. Hey, T Gaming, oh, yet another super chat. That's so generous. Hold on, I'm just gonna. Uh, there, do that. Uh, heart, there you go. Oh, and Dialo dancing. What's your favorite? <laughs> What's your favorite hybrid in the game? Mine is Indoraptor, but for some reason the Spinoceratops is also punching me in the face for some reason. <laughs> I think it's because I wish that was how big Spinoceratops is in the game. I mean, I like Spinoraptor. I just do. I d I can't really like intelligently articulate why. I just do. <laughs> So yeah, Spinoraptor is my favorite hybrid um, that is in the game. Finally. Finally, we have it. Shadow Rift says, can someone give me an idea for a fence shape for my parks, please? I feel like you should just look at what suits whatever you're building. For example, you know, what is this shape? I don't know, it's a blob. It's like maybe a human head on top of like a weird body but <laughs> you know you should just you shouldn't like make your habitat a square or a circle you know just give it a weird shape uh put a mountain in the backdrop put a little blob in there <laughs> just create something weird and i think then you're gonna have the more interesting habitat to work with that's a, that's my take at least Fleur, I swear to god, you're crazy. Anyway. Okay. So. Uh, we're just gonna randomize between these favorites. And you know what? I'll randomize between all of my favorites. These should all get... Yeah, okay. So I hearted all of the Lux skins. And we're randomizing using only the favorites. So all of them should have Lux skins. So that's how we're gonna do that. And we're gonna make... We're gonna make a lot. Like, we we just want... We're gonna light up this lagoon, basically. Uh, is that gonna be enough? I th let's keep it at that. There, I think that's a... Uh, that's a good place to start. I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's so overwhelming. Thank you. Uh, five animations you think would be cool. I'll start. Rex playbites partner on the nose. Partner shakes free and pushes the first with her head. Two human trips as a Rex walks up and sniffs them curiously, then walks off, not killing them. That's actually something I was thinking about. Um, for <laughs> I'm I think I've mentioned I've mentioned this several times. I'm like working on making my own Jurassic movie script story. And one of the things I want to incorporate is like have a baby dinosaur sort of attack a human, but in like a playful way and sort of accidentally cause some serious damage. That's something like from the novels as well. Uh, and that would be a cool animation, you know, if we get babies in like a hypothetical Jurassic World Evolution 3. Like, I would I would love that for for like for like the baby, some of the babies at least, to have a unique kill animation where they're, they're just sort of like discovering how to kill, basically. I think that would be really cool. 
Uh, hold on. <laughs> and of course, again, thank you for your super chat. And we're gonna get the most going again. <laughs> Just in time, we're gonna release these. Oh, that's such a good skin. I like that. That's good. Alrighty. Yep, love it. I wish the yellow uh, had like m more. Like this one is looks all over. And this is just a bit on the neck. I wish I wish there would have been a little bit more to it, honestly. All right, so we're just going to release all these. We don't have to watch every single one. Hey, Jessica Mechagodzilla girl. Sup, how's it going? Yeah, it's fizzy drink time. <laughs> Little ASMR moments. Oh, my Ankyloticas are probably done. Yes, ready to come out of the oven. Cool. Again, uh, we're going to be naming these at the end of the stream. It's kind of crazy how much time is flying. Alright, so let's get started on the Nothosaurus. There. Uh, Alright, so hold on. No. Is the. Hold on. Is the blue a Lux skin? No, I don't think so. I think it's just the pink that's the Lux skin, right? Or am I misremembering? Does it have to? Can someone. You can tell. I don't use Nothosaurus much. Um, you know, whenever I use Lagoon with like the rocks, I, I do it for Archelon. I think it's just the pink one. Oh, there are two. Look at that. Hmm. Okay. So what I'm going to do then is, or I, I guess I could have just made two batches, but oh god. But I'll just favorite them. We're going to randomize this and um, we'll completely randomize this. That ought to do it then. I'm going to make, how many is it? Six. I think two batches is enough then. Oh, yeah. The blue one is nice as well. Hold on. Yeah, that's nice. Wraith Garal says, I forgot it had Lux skins. I forgot it existed. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, my God. There's so much work to do. <laughs> uh, I just want to plan out, or at least try to plan out, sort of sketch in what I was going to do. How about you don't click away? Um, so we have a viewing thing over here. So we can have something over here. It's fair. I'm being very vague. I know. Actually, I quite like that we're going to use this. And then maybe over here should be... Um, Indoraptor and Indominus. I want to also combine them in a habitat because I think that's just going to look nice. Have multiple colors in one habitat. Um, this is going to be like a viewing area thing. The entrance is going to go over here, but... We'll do something with that. I think this is going to be Spinoceratops. And then maybe put Spinoraptor behind here. Something like that. And yeah, make this a remote location with Hyperloop. Because I, I don't think I want to have a whole path going in that direction. I think that's how we're going to do it. This is very small right now. We're going to make that bigger, obviously. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Sippy sippy! Evolution sheep, thank you so, so much. Hold on. Whenever there's an awkward silence, it's because I'm looking in OBS. There she is. <laughs> I still love that stupid clip. Hey, Evo, what are we doing? I just got back from my lacrosse game. We won. Hey, congrats! But saw you were alive, just clicked on it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we are building Lux Park. And we're just using every single Lux 
luxe-skinned species in the game. Uh, I'm making a mini park with this. And um, yeah, this is what we've done so far. It's not much, but it's taken me an hour. It's taken me well over an hour. <laughs> Don't judge. Um, so yeah, we're just flying in our Ankylodocus at the moment. And we're just going to completely pretend that I didn't forget Ankylodocus existed as of this week. <laughs> oh, I need more rock platforms. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Should I also just have... I think I'm also going to put a viewing gallery here. Since we're going to be taking the path in this direction anyway, we're going to have the Indominus and Indoraptor back here. Yeah, I think I can do another viewing gallery for the lagoon. Just like that. Cool beans. Them beans be cool. Uh, I love Ivan coming through with more animations. Sorry, I'm going to hiccup. No, no. Uh, one raptor gets a hu gets a human's attention, distracting them as a second. Oh yes, <gasps> that'll be so cool. That's when the attack comes, not from the front, whoosh, but from the sides. <laughs> Baby raptors play on top of mom. Uh, Spino catches the ranger helicopter by the tail, cutting its face but doing enough damage to crash. As it hold on, Spino. Catches the ranger helicopter. Oh, catches it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That would. Oh, wow. And another Moza clip. I think we can make both. Both batches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's see if I can squeeze some more rock platforms in. Squeeze! There. Uh, maybe we'll do. Oh, that's not gonna work, is it? Too close. Eh, eh, eh. You know what? I'll put one back there. That'll be enough. That'll be enough. Wayne Williams, you're playing Jurassic World Evolution 2 right now? What are you building? Josh Josh Brownlee is also building right now? <laughs> Everybody's building. Kyle Lomas, how do you get the trees in the lagoon? I've done a video on, like, glitches. Uh, you can find that on the channel. It's a really long video, but it's separated in chapters. And this is what we've called the lagoon natural edge or lagoon glitch. So you should be able to find it like that. A dinosaur says I'm downloading so many mods right now, it's embarrassing. <laughs> I don't think it's embarrassing. Uh, I do want to point out again that my game is not modded. You, everything I do and everything I have done in Jurassic World Evolution 2, you can do without mods. I Leviathan is challenging, is challenging people to come up with their own animation ideas. Honestly, I would suck at coming up with stuff like that on the spot. Oh. <laughs> ah, there you go. <laughs> that was supposed to have been a hug, but you know what? The Dilo dance is better, let's be honest. Hey, Ian Louth, member for 12 months. That's awesome. Lexi Christie 1993 says, I built in Jurassic World Evolution 1 this morning. A success. Were you playing, like, challenge campaign or were you, like, full-on committed um, uh, sandbox build? Blah, 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 English words. What were you what, uh, <laughs> what were you building basically? Um I think what I want to do is actually make viewing galleries over here. So I'm going to pause it so I can get rid of this fence. And actually place some galleries just so you know people will come over here. I mean, I'm going to have amenities here anyway, but Hold control, I always forget that. Get like a slight little curve to it. Can I do one more? Maybe. Yeah, because that, that's also just going to look nice. You know, buildings have lights on them. And that's also just going to be important for this build. 
All right, invisible fence there. And actually, there we go. Cool beans. That's crooked. <laughs> That's okay. It's it's fine. It's fine. There, hopefully that's going to contain them. All right. Dean Western Eve, I'm just wondering what's your first language? I am Dutch, so my first language is Dutch. Dutch. I do my best to keep the accent to a minimal, but it's unavoidable. Okay, so next up on the agenda, I need to temporarily do that so we can get a nice, nice ramp. Is that fine? It's maybe a little steep still. There, and then... Gently take it back down. Gently! Mario Leo says, uh, if comes a new hybrid DLC, it should have pack... I don't even know what that is. I don't know what that is. I don't think they're gonna do another hybrid pack. <laughs> Just like in general, but also given given the reaction to this hybrid pack, <laughs> I don't think they would they would do another one. Um, I don't know. I I hope I on one hand I hope that they'll still do the flying reptile pack that we all kind of thought they would do right now. Uh, but if there's only one more DLC coming, I don't think it should be Flying Reptiles. Because obviously we still need Homlos... Uh, Homlocephaly. Um, she's speaking nonsense. I'm gonna have another sippy drink over here. Because what is this? Homlocephaly. Please. Microceratus is the name. And also I would just hope... But that, that's total wishful thinking, that they would end it on an expansion. And yeah, maybe that's why this DLC is, is not as exten extensive. Because, you know, they need to preserve manpower to actually make an expansion. Who knows? I certainly don't. <laughs> We've established that. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I really don't. There, we're gonna just nicely follow that curve and it's it's a bit of a weird connection point over there but you know what that's that's fine that's fine it's fine Finksy was milo here <laughs> thank you so much for the super chat what dino should i add to my figurine collection if you don't yet have a stegosaurus you need a stegosaurus yeah, is cool Dinosaur Eva, what, what are your thoughts on the next or last pack? What do you think it will be? I honestly... I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna do official predictions anymore. But I'm still assuming, hoping, wishing that, you know, they're just gonna complete the canon roster and add Microceratus. So... But I don't know how they would fill that out. I guess a herbivore pack, but then... You know, what I just said, I kind of hope that they still do an expansion. How does that make sense? It's, it's, it's complicated, man. Elsie Plays has an animation idea. A compie looks up at guests. The guest leans down to pet it. So then, a comp then a pack of compies jumps on their sides and analyze the guests. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so I'm gonna follow this curve as well. Nice. That's gonna take us over there. Okay, 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 okay. Yep. 
Yeah, something something like that. Let's get these bad boys out of here. Oh, hold on, Commander Zilla. Thank you so, so much. I just had an idea for building... I just had an idea of building a Jurassic Park San Diego, but instead of the one design from Lost World, doing it based off the San Diego Zoo. That'd be cool. You should you should do that. <laughs> hey, well, thanks so much for the super chat. Get dancing. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that. But even though I forgot <laughs> that it has a second Lux skin, I do still uh, stand by my opinion that this is my least favorite of the Lux skins because it's ju it's just a stripe. It's just a stripe. That's that's not very special. The other animals definitely have better Lux skins in my opinion. The ones that do at least. Obviously. Just call me Landon. Wait, not the source can be Lux. Yeah, it's the it's the pink and the blue pattern skin. I only thought the pink one was uh, <laughs> Lux. So I, I've also discovered something today. Oh god. Hold on, I should save because I feel like I'm gonna accidentally delete something important. Okay, so the access points for these things I was gonna put in here. Oh, I can just, yeah, le yeah, let's just attach them. I want a different building style though. Oh God. Uh, there, yeah. So that one and then this one. We had a little bit of terrain elevation going on. Hold on, let me flatten from there. Now what I was hoping I could do was add a viewing tower right here. There. So you can look onto... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, so you can look onto that lagoon rock platform. And theoretically, you know, even though I can't move the camera that far... This building would definitely give 360 degree view because you could walk to this side as well. All right. Is that enough animal? That's enough animals, I think. Let's have a little look see. Although, having said that, should we just add more? Should we just add more? I feel like maybe we should just add more. I think we can add some more. Savannah Varn says more animals. So let's just do it. All right, you can uh, you can switch the cameras here as well, can't you? Yeah. There you go. Yay. Yeah, I think we're gonna make some more of the uh, Stixos. I don't want more of the Nothosaurus because they're so small they're gonna they're gonna disappear anyway, which is why I don't like using them that much. Uh, so I'm gonna make more Stixo. How many? Three. We're gonna make six more. And then I can get rid of the hatchery. The gaming chicken, do you use mods? No, I do not use mods. What we've done here is a glitch. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find that video and I'm gonna link it in the description box right here. Because I think that's gonna be useful for people. Hold on, I'm just listening, scrolling. There she is. Oh, <laughs> sarcastically shared it. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I'm actually just going to pin this one. Pin, 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 pin. Replace pinned message. There you go. I was too slow. Of course I was. <laughs> sarcastically beat me to it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you check out that video, uh, among many other glitches, it shows you how to do this. Of course... You know, I did this during stream. You can also go back in the stream. But for more a tutorial type style video on how to do this, you can check out that video. It's a very long video, but that's only because we have so many amazing glitches. Uh, the video is organized into chapters, so you can easily find just glitches that you're interested in. Bam. Okay. Cool. So... Uh, 
Well, maybe we want to switch it up with the path. Let's switch it up with the path going. Let's do this color. I kind of want... Uh, let me think about this. I'm going to hate myself. I delete the monorail. I think we're just gonna do one viewing gallery into the um, Indoraptor Indominus Rex habitat. We're gonna treat this like a high security kind of thing. Like still accessible to guests, but you know, other than one viewing opportunity, it's gonna be closed off and we're gonna be double fencing it. I think that should be the way to go. And maybe even <gasps> I know what I want to do. I know what I want to do. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, let me think about this. How did I do this? Um... Hey, Evolution Sheep. Thank you so much for yet another super chat. What should I add to my park out of these dinos? Dilo, Triceratops, Sego, or Aloe? I know what you are going to choose. <laughs> All right, then you should pay attention to what other people are suggesting. So... Uh, give Evolution Sheep a suggestion for what they should add, and maybe give your reason for why they should add it. And uh, you can you can pick from someone, Evolution Sheep. You know what I would pick. You know. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna implement another glitch here. Um, do that. Going down, first floor, ladies' underpants. Hello, click away, thank you. Alrighty, grab a fence, grab a fence, grab a fence. Grab a gate, grab a gate, grab a gate. There you go. There, a little, little security checkpoint. Lovely. That's, yeah, that's about centered. That's, that's, that's fine. Uh, and actually, what I quite like doing is we'll continue this with this fencing, you know, keep it open, but the habitat will have uh, concrete fencing. I'm gonna add two viewing galleries, because why not? Mr. Phelpsy Concavenator is my favorite dinosaur of all time. It is a really good dinosaur. It was my most wanted dinosaur to come to Jurassic World Evolution 2. You know, obviously, before it actually got added. And I'm so, so happy that they did add it. So, so happy. Chuffed, I might even say. <laughs> I love that word. There. So, okay, double fencing. I think I'm actually gonna follow him. Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just doing that so I can get it like perpendicular. Oh, that's oh god. This is more difficult than you would think. It's good enough, I'll take it. What I want to do is add like a little window. There. And we'll take it over there. Okay. There is a vision. You do not see the vision, because I have not made the vision visible, but there is a vision, fret not. The vision is visible to me. This is always a challenge to like do this neatly. You know what, sure, we'll just do it like that. God dang it. There. It's a bit messy, but I'll take it.
Good God. <laughs> that was a lot of ch 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 <laughs> Isle of Python sarcastically just reminded me, if we do get a third game, I really hope the animals stop clipping through each other. Yes, uh, Prehistoric Kingdom actually recently, like, fixed that in their update. If Prehistoric Kingdom can do that, so can Frontier. So, yes, definitely. That's something that should not make it into a third game if that happens. Hey, Aurora, thank you so, so much. Hold on, I... What clip... Iron Levithan, I owe Iron Levithan a hug. And Aurora, you get the dancing dialogue. <laughs> Ivo, I'm going to make a park on the tropical square map. What kind of park should I do? Also, for a super chat. Um, what kind of park? I don't know. <laughs> uh, make it all Lagoon Park. There you go. <laughs> I still need to finish my All Lagoon Park. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. What I'm actually gonna do... Double fencing is boring. That's probably why I don't usually take the time for it. It's just boring. Oh, I did not need to do that. No, I did need to do that. Uh, having said that, this could be singular fencing, actually. And then this is double fencing. Ay, 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 ay. See, because it's just like... What I want to do is I want to make like a remote ranger station here. Let's not make it too big, because I'm <laughs> getting tired of the double fencing. <laughs> that's that's too small, though. We'll do it. We'll do it like this. We're only gonna do one of each. That's fine. Legacy Chris says purple park. Only purple dinosaurs and buildings. I think sarcastically would uh, very much approve. Come on, come on. It's not it's not that difficult. Just there you go. Oh for frick's sake, man. Yeah, double fencing, it's it's cool, but it's so annoying to do. I'm getting like just distracted. <laughs> For frick's sake, game, would you please? You know what? We're not gonna see this corner anyway. I've stopped caring. I have officially stopped caring. There you go. This is sort of like the layout. And then... We have an indoraptor sized gate. And we have a indominus sized gate. And then on the outside, like smart people do... You only have a small gate. There. That took forever. I am now a hundred years old. Congratulations. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> hey, Love Game Selfie gifted 10 memberships. That is so generous. Wow, thank you. I am Leviathan was gifted a membership. Firemates, uh, Finksy, uh, Ryan von Bladel. I think that's, I think you're Dutch. Let's see, Liam Feely, we have CGT Toro, the Dino Hunter, Spinex. Was that 10? I don't know if that was 10. But thank you so much, Love Games Selfie. And if you were just gifted the membership, don't forget to thank Love Game, uh, Love Games, no, Love Game Selfie. I did do it correctly. Uh, it's totally random, but that is super, super generous. Thank you so much. 
Uh, and also, enjoy this. Because, you know, why wouldn't you? That's amazing. Mm. Sorry. And I of Ivan, at the very least, I don't want clipping so bad my park gets occasional vis visits from a two-headed twin-tailed T-Rex or Brachiohydra. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean... Like, it's pretty much impossible to prevent clipping entirely, because then, um, you know, animals are just going to stay uh, so far away from each other. It's going to give us pandemic flashbacks. But yeah, the clipping should be minimized in, in some way, shape, or form. Definitely. That's not gonna work. Hello? Hello? Hitch me. See a little extra security thing, you know, if you want if you wanna look at the Indominus and the Indoraptor, proceed at your own risk. Please sign your um I can sue <laughs> if anything happens to me forms, and then you'll be all good to go. Path through there, I think. Let me, let me, let me, let me. Right. There, sorry, I had to reverse engineer that. Yeah, and I kind of wanted to do a building there. I think if I do... This is this is turning out so messy. Hold on, I can't take it. We're gonna have buildings. Like that. And I think we'll do... That, actually. And then we can have another building over here. Question mark? Something like that. I'll, fi I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Hey, Connor boy, it's been a minute. How have you been? I've been doing pretty well, I think. How have you been? Thank you for popping in. Yahoo! Hey, the Gaming Rexy, what's up? Firemates, wait, how, do I, how long do I have a membership now? I think it's for one month. I think that's the standard. Tucker Cardo, Raptor Chases. Oh my god, your, your PFP is scary. <laughs> Yahoo. There, a Yahoo. All right, let's get started on the Indominus Rex and the Interruptor. And again, I'm only going to make one of these. Whoa, I've Jesus Christ. There they are. I keep I keep looking for the purple icons, the purple tiles, because that's what they were in Jurassic World Evolution 1. Like they just stood out because their tiles were purple. And that's so ingrained in me that I keep looking for that. Which is silly. Modify get that luck skin. There you go. Beautiful. Uh, hey, I'm Leviathan. Thanks so much for being here. And again, thank you so much for your amazingly generous uh, super chats. I never know what to say. You know that, but it's hugely appreciated. I got to, I got to go enjoy the rest of your day. Please name something shiny Gyriados. <laughs> I don't care what it is. <laughs> I will do that. Thank you so much. Hold on. I need to, I need to copy that somewhere. I probably mispronounced that. I'm sorry. All right. I know what it, it's a Pokemon. I know what it is, but I didn't have any fellow Pokemon fans growing up, so I never had to actually say the names out loud. So my my mouth has no practice with it. Well, what are you doing? It's like he just remembered. Hey, there's another bunny here. I should check it out. 
Hey, the Warner Show. Thanks so much. Oh god, I misclicked on the hearts. There you go. Evo, the next time you place down a Spino Raptor, can you name it Brutus, please? Uh, generally speaking, we save naming for the end of the stream. Uh, so I'm making a cheeky little uh, exception for Iron Leviathan. But we keep all of that when it's time to actually um, do the naming. Otherwise, it's just going to get messy, because then everyone's going to do name suggestions. All right, going to fly these bad boys out. Actually, it is almost the end of the stream. That's crazy. That is crazy. Um, what I think maybe we should do is another poll. Bo, seriously. <laughs> Baby, what are you doing? Um, hold on. We should do another poll. Start poll. Next Saturday, we... Continue Lex Park. That's not even close to how you spell continue. That's honestly impressive. Um, or go back to... Um, <laughs> I don't know what to call it. It doesn't really have a name, but... Uh, the, <laughs> the bankruptcy Park? I don't know. <laughs> we didn't give it a name. <laughs> so dumb anyway i don't even know if that's how you spell bankruptcy that's a difficult word anyway that's that's <laughs> that's the poll <laughs> well, yeah, it's the choice is yours <laughs> let's get these out of here we'll watch it one more time so i can take a little sippy sippy Hey, Lima25, a paleontologist. That's awesome. You already have the uh, magenta badge, but I'm still going to play this one for you. All right, we have another badge. Whoa, Love Game Selfie, you donated 10 more? That is... Oh my god, that is so generous! Alright, who do we have this time around? We have the Gaming Rex, Arnold, UTC5, Connor Boy, a hey, good timing to come back, <laughs> Father Mick Gaming, Proximus Cat, D-Rex 1985, that's awesome, Mario Leo, and a hey, Navi4867, that is awesome. And Fletcher! <laughs> Fletcher was gifted a membership! <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's totally random. Um, but yeah, if you were just gifted a membership, don't forget to say thank you to uh, Love Game Selfie. And for me as well, Love Game Selfie, that is so generous. Thank you so, so much. You're amazing. We're, and any excuse to play this. Cause... Th th that is my legacy right there. That is my contribution to society. That and the uh, Dilophosaurus Maracas. That is, that is just how it is. All right, so I'm going to delete that and then what i think we'll do is we'll save adding the spinoraptor and spinoceratops for next time because it looks pretty convincingly that we will be returning to lux park next time i'll probably do some homework in the meantime so we can get a little bit more uh progress on the park but i think it's gonna be a cool little mini park Ooh yeah i'm gonna name this one uh for iron leviathan so that is um do we still have it? Copy paste it. There you go. Shiny. All right. Uh, well, it's not quite time to do naming yet. We're we're gonna go for a few more minutes here. Um. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna add the Spinoraptor and Spinoceratops next time. Then. Gonna nicely fill this with. Path always does a weird thing about around buildings. I hate it. Lovely. Lima25. Hey, thank you so much for the yellow super chat. That's so generous. <laughs> uh, 
Sorry, didn't realize I wasn't a full member anymore. <laughs> no problem, fix that now. You've become our weekly Saturday thing for a while now. Dankjewel, fine avond. Hey, dankjewel. En uh, fijne zaterdag. <laughs> um, yeah, I also just want to again point out that if people just want to be a member for for one month or just when they get gifted one, totally understand. I just appreciate, you know, anyone hopping in, joining and uh, however long anyone wants to be a member, that's already super special to me. So don't worry about that. All right, a little... It's not pretty, but you know, it's something. <laughs> it's something and sometimes that's just enough. Is that about the same distance? Just about. I'm terrified of accidentally <laughs> deleting the... Uh... Uh, actually, I think what I should do if I can squeeze it in there... I feel like I feel like the toilet's gonna be bigger than I think it is. I think it's bigger than I think it is. Hold on. Toilets. No! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, well... At least I'm good at something. Uh, okay. Now oh, this path is gonna get wonky with it. Just, just, please, just don't be, don't be ridiculous. There you go. Love it. Oh my god, 700 likes. That is absolutely insane. Thank you guys so, so much. Let's get Ian out here. I'm pretty sure I missed the 600 mark, so I'm gonna make him laugh twice. Because why not? Why not? It's DLC week. We're happy. <laughs> Flora's going crazy again. Oh, <laughs> She's just jumping. She's just jumping around right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, once more. Oh my God. Fleur, would you please be careful with yourself? Bo's looking at her like, what the fuck? Uh, oh, I missed a super chat from someone. Hold on, let me find you. Aurora, I am so, so sorry. Uh, I remember that park. Do you remember the pair I named Money Square? <laughs> Money Square. Hold on. Uh. Heart, get this dialogue dancing. Alright, I think... I think that was all I missed. <laughs> I hope that was all I missed. Jack Gates, Evo, what is your favorite luck skin disregarding your thoughts on the actual dinosaur? Uh, the Spinoceratops. I think it has a really good luck skin. Alright, um... And with this weird shape... I think we're nearing the end of our stream here. I'm just gonna connect this. And we're gonna widen that. I quite I quite like how this structure turned out, actually. Oh, and what I was gonna do, and before I forget for next time. Fleur, would you please Oh my god. Hold on, but it's not flat the way it should be. Yeah, restaurant. That's pretty creepy how I did that. I honestly don't know how. Come on then, don't be shy. Really? Really, game? There you go. Little terrace off to the side. And we're gonna have to shrink our mountain a little bit, but then we can add a small building right here. Hey, Evolution Sheev, thank you so much yet again. See you later. I got to go to the doctor. I have an appointment, but see you at tomorrow's stream. I hope everything is all right. And that's just a regular check. But thank you so much for hopping in. And yeah, I hope to see you tomorrow as well for our Jurassic Talk stream. I'll do a little bit sh of shameless self-promotion at the end. Um, it is the end. <laughs> <laughs> and Wishmaker, thank you so, so much. Oh, God. I 
keep misclicking on the heart. Uh, any idea on making the game run better on PS5? Hmm? Uh, hold on, let me do the Yahoo first. Yahoo! I mean, obviously, uh, you should try lowering your settings. I'm actually, I think I'm gonna do it like that. Um, you should try lowering your settings first and foremost. And something else you can do if you go into capture mode, you have the the cinematic type. You can try switching all of this off. Uh, that was a bug that was in the game a while ago, but I saw someone comment on Reddit that that bug has actually returned. So uh, even though you're not using the capture mode camera, go into the capture mode camera, switch all of it off, because apparently that is taking up some cycles. Uh, if all of that doesn't work, unfortunately, you know, the game just is poorly optimized. Um, the only real solution is building smaller parks, you know, like what we're doing right now, you know, build really highly themed parks that you know are going to end up smaller. But, you know, we're building Lux Park now. Obviously, I'm working on the hybrid park. Um, you can do an all sauropod park, you know, stuff like that. So you can end up with a smaller end result, but still maintain your frame rates and eventually use all of your species as well. Because every park is just going to be using different species. All right, we're going to do our naming round because we're reaching the end here. We're going to start with the Parasaurolophus. Come on through with your name suggestions. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. <laughs> Sorry, Bo is just looking at me like, what did you do? Why is there a crazy bunny here right now? <laughs> All right, include Gibbon, says Gluey. I'm just picking these at random, by the way, whatever catches my eye. You Traffers says Jack. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back, Dr. Glow. No more, no more, no more, no. Don't sing. Okay. Um, there you Glow worm. I like that. <laughs> glow worm. Uh, I see Gary. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, and Perry. There you go. Gary and Perry. Wishmaker says cotton candy. Beautiful. <laughs> Random flying baryonyx says glow butts. Sure. Why not? Why not? You only live once. Uh, Comet Kiwi says squid. Aurora says sw name one Jeffrey Bob. Jeffrey Bob. Gonna oh god, it's going too fast. Give it a little heart. Give it a little yahoo. Yahoo. Alright, that might have been it. Okay, so that's it for the paras. Let's do the Ankylodocus next. <sighs> this park's gonna need more... Sorry, hiccup. More mountains in the background, I think. Because I do I do like that. It's, it's really bare bones, obviously, at the moment. But it's gonna be good. Alright, here we go. Nell Nations is Florence. We have a Florence. The beaver shows us Bobby. B Rex is Anthony. Oh god. Anthony. We have Charlie saying Clubby. Okay, that's it for the Ankylodocus. Next species, the Stegoceratops. Oh yeah. Gonna just give chat a couple of seconds to catch up. Savannah Barnes says fizzy drink. You know what? Sure. A super chat alert. Wow, that just got snuck in there. Pineapple Python. You should name something blinker fluid. All right. Well, there you go. <laughs> and a heart and a hug. Wait, did that work? <laughs> And Wishmaker says, uh, Ace. Alright, so we'll name something Ace. And a Yahoo! Yahoo. Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything. There you go. Oh, it's a sleepy stick with she with Uh, Monotai says Manfred. That's a very fancy name, isn't it? Manfred. Game Boy Modding says Yahoo! 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 Let's see, Michelle Edwards says Glowinator. 
Oh, oh, little social happening. Hey, you're one boy! Just bought the secret species pack. That's awesome. Hope you're gonna have fun with it. We're building our little glowy park with it right now. Uh, thank you so much for your super chat. I'm gonna get you a Yahoo. Alright. Another one. Name one Uranium Saurus. Uranium Saurus. Alright, so that's it for the Stegoceratops. We have an Indoraptor to name. Hey, Fireflower, thank you so, so much. I keep misclicking on the hearts. I think it's because chat starts to move. Uh, and Yahoo as well. Yahoo. All right, let's see. Uh, oh boy. Dare JW Raptor says Terminator. Lovely. All right, and now we're going to go into the lagoon, and we have many lagoon animals. We have so many lagoon animals today. It's going to be a little bit ridiculous. All right, we're going to start with the Nothosaurus. Again, we're just giving Chad a couple of uh, seconds to catch up here. All right, Mario Leo says blue. Oh god, sorry, I was <laughs> outside of the... Blue... Was it Blueberry? No, it wasn't Blueberry. Blue Snake. Why did I think Blueberry? Weird. Subliminal thing, maybe. Um, You're one boy, name the Notho Buddy. Well, we have plenty of Nothos to name, so we'll name one Buddy. There you go, thank you for your super chat. Uh, Colt, the um, Indominus Rex has named that already. Uh, all right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. D-Rex says Naughty Saurus. I ask no questions because I don't want any answers. Uh, let's see, Love Game Selfie. Oh, that is a nice name. That is nice, 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 nice. Oh, oh, oh. Aurora Borealis. There you go. Ooh, that's a f that's a fancy name right there. And a hug. Thank you so much. Catching up with the chat here. Alright, tiny pixel for some reason. Uh tiny pixel. Oh sleepy. CGT Toro says glow up. More sleepy. Alright. Max up says Lucille. That always makes me think of The Walking Dead. Like, that name is just inextricably linked to The Walking Dead right now. Uh, glow stick? I'm getting hiccups for my drink. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Blue boy, says Mega Lego Master. Blue a boy. <laughs> oh. UTC5 says Carter. Hey, Carter! <laughs> um, Sean says Stripe. That might be it? No, oh my god, how many did we make? <laughs> we made too many, we made too many! <laughs> abort, abort, abort! <laughs> uh, Navi says Lumi. Oh, I like that, that's cute. There you go, I wasn't, I wasn't off by that much. Alright, and now the Styxosaurus. And we have many a Stixosaurus. Alright, so again, just giving chat a couple of chances to catch up here. And in the meantime, by the way, let me remind you that tomorrow's stream is going to be our Jurassic Talk stream. So we're going to be talking about everything we know so far about the upcoming Jurassic movie. We're ignoring that it phases through um, concrete here. Uh, we're going to be discussing the rumors. We're going to be discussing our hopes and dreams and wishes for the movie. And we're just going to be phasing through stuff <laughs> we're just gonna be geeking out about the movie basically so yeah if you want to join in for that and you're not subscribed yet consider subscribing to the channel turn on notifications so you won't miss it and here we go here we go here we go <laughs> sorry <laughs> crunch there crunch and uh buzz light here buzz light here twilight i quite like that twilight 
Could you please name one Luna after my cat? There you go, we have a Luna. Tokyo. Lumos, that's a cool name as well. There. Snickers, <laughs> sure. Snickers, we're just gonna go through at a rapid pace here. Uh, we already have a glow stick. Uh, name one after my cat, Kit Cat. There you go, we have a Kit Cat. And also, thank you so much for your super chat, Finksy. And a Yahoo. Yahoo. Next, uh, their tab bar says Shimmer. I like that lot as well. Shimmer. Um, Lion Feely says Illumination. <laughs> illumination. <laughs> My favorite word to say is illusion. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'm a very simple person, okay? I'm a very, very Poseidon. That's a cool name. Poseidon. Dang. That's a good name. That is a, not gonna lie, that's a good name. Um, Charlie says Sunny. Makes sense. We have a Luna. We should have a Sunny. Name one Neptune. Okay, we're coming on through with some awesome names right now. All right, internal blaze is topaz. That's not topaz. I might pronounce that differently. <laughs> Jake the snake. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but after names like Poseidon and Neptune, Jake the snake is just funny as heck to me. Jake the snake. <laughs> we should have one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna make- I'm gonna make an exa- Jack the Snake! <laughs> Wait, that doesn't really work, does it? But anyway. <laughs> Jack the Snake. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. Um... Let's see... Loki? I still have to watch that. Not gonna lie, I didn't like the first episode. Sorry. Um... Ba -ba 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 Where's the game says Veromoth? That sounds very cool. And there you go. We've made it all the way around. All our animals in the park at the moment have a name. And looking at the poll, it's very clear. We're going to be continuing our Lux build next week. So I'm going to end that poll. We're going to return you next week. We're going to add the Spinoraptor and Spinoceratops. And obviously continue building. There's plenty to do on this park. Uh, but yeah, I want to thank you all so, so much for joining for this stream. I hope you will join me for the content during the week, for next week, and uh, of course tomorrow as well for our Jurassic Talk stream. Any any other announcements? I don't think so, so I'm going to say goodbye to you lovely folks, and um, yeah, wish you a lovely, lovely rest of your weekend. Um, I didn't pineapple python. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, hold on. So the vote, yeah, 84%. That's very clear. I want to thank the Blue Nun crew, as always, for being here, doing all of the heavy lifting in chat. I see Colt, Sammy L, uh, sarcastically Guillermo. Fletcher was here for a little bit, at least long enough <laughs> that I remember him getting gifted a membership. Uh, Glitzbog was here. Uh, did I say Guillermo already? I don't remember. My... Memory is something. <laughs> and that something is not good. <laughs> but yeah, as always, hugely appreciate the Blue Nin crew. Thank you so, so much. Uh, and I also want to thank the Green Army, which has become very, very much stronger thanks to Love Game Selfie uh, during the stream. Again, Love Game Selfie, if you're still here, thank you so, so much. That's super, super generous. Thank you for being an admiral of the Green Army. Uh, some of the Green Army in chat right now is Lexi Christie, nineteen ninety three, of course, Terraria. We have Mega Lego Master, Wraith Garon, Mal Natalia, Finksy, Comet Kiwi, The Beaver Show, Doctor Oceans, The Gaming Rex, Fire Mate. We have Doctor Rex, nineteen eighty five, um, Love Game Selfie. <laughs> hey, happy to see you still here. Thank you so much again, Magnetator, Ploba, um, Comet Kiwi, Jesse, um, Mal Natalia. I think I already said that. Magseb, Navi, four eight six seven. Thank you so, so much. And um, yeah, I'm going to be saying many, many names, mispronouncing all of them. And I'll be back tomorrow for our Jurassic Talk stream. And of course, there's going to be some exciting projects during the week as well. So yeah, again, blanket statement for everyone. Thank you so much for joining. And um, if you're not subscribed yet, you should be. <laughs> all right. Uh, the Gaming Rexy, Gary Pfeiffer, Sensi Dafson von Fossil, Fossole. 
Uh, Fire Mage, of course, Random Flying Baryonyx, Pineapple Python, we have Archie Allen, Scoop, Mario Leo, Finksy, we have Dante Van Helmont, Kishma Huggins? Kishma Huggins? Uh, Salama Van A, thanks so much for being here. Matt Sawyers, Thijs Berenson, Jan Polarski. Chat's gonna jump, I feel it. Yeah, there you go. Um, Fireflower, Logan, we have T-Rex in 1985, Faith Person, Weekly Streams, The Beaver Show, Star Watcher, The Lynx, Therian, we have Sweet Tea, Jessica, Mega Godzilla Girl, Arthur Lofrano, we have Liam Dockery, Bye bye <laughs> Zester Zero, Lima25, Jao Alberto Lemme, Lemme, again, I mispronounce all sorts of names, I am an uncultured swine. And I apologize. Uh, Godzilla Fangirl 1000, Peril Maniac, we have Lossel, Lossel Cotter, Ryan Van Bladel, Sebastian Rivera, Skyler Sweet, thanks for being here, The Warner Show, Clockwork, DJ Steel 831, Pillow Sleeper, thanks so much for being here, Riley King 10, Mario Leo, Lightbringer 127, there, JW Raptor, D Marks, Chris Holland, thank you so, so much. All right, I think I've said enough names for today. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and until next time, enjoy the game. <laughs>